Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Joe. And in today's video, I want to give you some listening tips and some listening practice. So many students have asked, how do I improve my listening? And can you help me get better at listening? So I'm going to put it all together in this video. I'm going to give you five tips and three stories to practice with. Okay, to practice those tips with. So let's get started. The first tip is predict from titles and headlines. Okay, if you're doing a listing exercise, usually it'll have a title or a headline of some kind. Read that and try and figure out what you're going to hear. Predict the kind of information you're going to hear. Is it about sports? Is it about shopping? Is it about English grammar? Whatever. The better you can predict, then the better you're going to be able to listen and hear those details. Okay? Number two is listen for key words. So the key words in English are the nouns and the verbs. Those are the content words. They let you know what is happening, what the story is about. So listen carefully for them. Tip number three is listen for the tense. Okay, the verb tenses, is it talking about now, the present tense? Something in the future happening? Or is it going back into the past? Listen carefully for the tense so you'll know when that story is taking place. Tip number four is actually don't practice listening. You have to read. <laughs> Reading for fun is the best way to improve your vocabulary. And if you're going to be good at listening, you have to know lots of words. So uh, if you're listening to something, a lot of times students just don't get it because they hear stuff that they don't understand. They don't catch it. But if you read a lot and you know a lot of words, there's a better chance you will hear the words that you understand. Okay? All right. I've got videos on how to improve your vocabulary, and I'm going to put a link to one right up here. Okay? You can watch that after. But let's finish this one first. And tip number five is the most important tip. Practice every day. Okay? You all know that this is true. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. However, very few students do it. So, you need to hear words often enough so that you know what they sound like. All right? I see it every day in my classes. The students who watch more movies, who watch more videos, and who read more are the best listeners. So, Try to do it every day. Students come to me and they ask, Joe, can you help me practice? I just send them videos every day. It's no big deal. I can help you. If, you. if you want it to happen, I can help. All right, now we've made it this far. I'm going to, send, I'm going to give you the first secret code. What do we do with these secret codes? Uh, my return students, you guys already know, but new students, I want you to send me a direct message on Instagram at Teacher Joe Crossman. And when I get all three secret codes from you from this video, I'll send you some extra information to help improve your English. All right? So the first secret code is great listening tips. All right? Now we're in the second part. I'm going to tell you three stories, very short, but you can practice those tips, okay? Listen for key words, listen for tenses, check out the title, okay? Listen, maybe even make notes, because I'm going to ask questions later. Here we go. Here is story A, and the title is Jackie's Name. Now, we all know who Jackie Chan is, the famous movie star from China. But when he was 22, he immigrated to the country of Australia. 
and this was back in 1976. He went there to join his parents who were already living there. While there, he started working for a construction company and the person who had to train him was a great big guy named Jack. So all around the construction site, Big Jack used to lead Jackie Chan and all the other construction guys used to joke around and say, hey, look, here comes Big Jack with Little Jack. And then Little Jack got shortened to Jackie. So he was called Jackie Chan at the construction site and the name has stuck until today. All right. Let's go on to story B. Story B is called Bad Date. So, a man and a woman, also in Australia, wanted to go on a date in the year 2020. Their plan was to go for a hike. A short way, a short ways from their car, they found what looked like human remains. So bones and a body, very scary stuff next to the trail. They called the police and the police agreed with them. It looked like a body. So they called the forensic unit. The police took down their details. And for the rest of that evening, the man and woman were kind of freaked out and upset because of their horrible discovery. They found what they thought was a dead body. Uh, it turns out it was not a dead body. It was a kangaroo. <laughs> and unfortunately, they never went on another date again. <laughs> okay, so that's the second story. And now I'm going to give you the second secret code. The second secret code is listen and remember. Okay, you know what to do. Now, here is the third secret. <laughs> here is the third story. And afterwards, I'm going to ask you questions. So be ready. The third story, the title is Smart Women. So on October 24th, 1975, the women of Iceland went on strike for equal rights. 90% of the country's women walked off their jobs and left their homes. And this shut down the whole country for one day. The men who had no great experience at cooking or cleaning or taking care of children could not cope. <laughs> they barely coped and they had a horrible day. The next year, great things happened and a new law was passed for equal pay. Men and women would be paid equally. And another great thing happened in the future. Five years after that strike in 1980, Iceland elected the world's first female president. I love this story because it shows how a group of people who are determined and united can have so much power. And Iceland today is a fantastic country. Now here is the third secret code. The third secret code is don't stop practicing. Okay. Now's the time I'm going to ask you questions and I'll give you the answers. So this is for story A. Number one, how old was Jackie Chan in 1976? Number two, what job did he do in Australia? And number three, who trained him at that job? Okay, now here are the answers. Number one, he was 22 years old. Number two, he worked in construction. And number three, his trainer was Big Jack. All right, here are questions for story B. Number one, where did they want to go on their date? Number two, why did they call the police? 
And number three, what did it turn out to be? Here are the answers. Number one, they wanted to go for a hike. Number two, they found what they thought was a body. And number three, it turned out to be a kangaroo. All right, now here are the questions for story C. Number one, what did the women want? Number two, how did the men cope? And number three, what two things happened because of the strike? And here are the answers. Number one, the women wanted equal rights. Number two, the men could barely cope. And number three, a new law was passed for equal pay and a female president was elected five years later. All right. So those are, you got all the tips, you got the stories, and you got the questions and answers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you got to go back and you want to listen to the stories again and get some more practice, that's a great idea. All right. Uh, and I'm going, if you want to keep practicing, I'm going to put a link right here so you can click on that and you can see me again, perhaps check out my beard. <laughs> I'll have a different shirt on, but the most important thing is that you keep learning English. All right. By the way, are you going to practice some more tomorrow? Let me know down in the comments below. That's it for now. See you later.